Even when a mine offers much needed prosperity, a community may decide that there are other risks that outweigh the benefits. Often those risks are environmental and they can be the most challenging of all. The MacArthur River cuts through Northern Australia's rugged outback for 300 kilometers. Midway along the river's path lies a huge zinc deposit, home to Extrata's MacArthur River mine. Uh, it should be right. We planted over 25,000 trees last year in October, and uh, the wet season we had uh, was enough to get them established. So Gary Taylor is Extrata's environmental manager, charged with the task of monitoring the mine's impact on the river. The zinc deposit lies directly below the riverbed, and when the river rechanneling was first proposed, the biggest issue was whether it could be done in an environmentally responsible way. Many Aboriginal groups live along the river, and there were concerns about the effects of the mine on the water, the surrounding land, and on the spirit of the river itself. Extrata knew that if they wanted the mine to go ahead, they had to show that the river could be rechanneled in a way that would keep the water protected. Gary and his team carefully studied the biodiversity of the river so that the new channel would be as close as possible to the river's natural state. Working with local experts, native plants and seeds were collected and cultivated for planting in and around the new channel. From Gary's perspective, the new riverbed is a work of art, carefully sculpted to create the unique ecosystems that are found in a natural river, including snags made of boulders and tree trunks. The water is monitored constantly by Extrata and by governmental and non-governmental agencies, and the results communicated to the public. The O is 9.69. 9.69. The H is 8.1. 8.1. The MacArthur River Mine is just one example of the extraordinary efforts that go into minimizing the environmental impact at mine sites around the world.